Hey, good morning. Um, I'm here uh, ready to go. Uh, we are going to be talking about Mark chapter 9, um, daily encouragement. I thought about actually changing the name. I'm really just kidding, but um, my wife kind of uh, reminds me that I'm wearing the same um, stuff again, you know, like the same clothes. And I'm going, these are my pajamas. So, you know, hey, you get what you get. But uh, uh, I thought about calling it uh, um, Daily Encouragement with PJ and his PJs. What do you think? Anyway, enough of that. We're going into Mark chapter 9. Mark uh, chapter 9 had some really uh, great stuff this morning. I'm going to be focusing on who is the greatest, uh, as, a, as the disciples were arguing about who is the greatest, you know, um, Jesus knows what they're talking about and inquires, and then he has uh, just something very simple to say to, to make his point. In verse 35, he says, if anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And I thought that uh, I, thought, I think Jesus' teaching on this is consistent with who he is and what he's uh, taught uh, in other places. And obviously, the disciples learn because um, even Peter teaches this stuff when he is uh, in his letters, and Paul teaches these things. Um, it, but it brings up the question: How do you measure greatness? You know, in our society, we measure greatness by um, those that are the best at what they do. You know, if you talk about who's the greatest basketball player, um, many people would say Michael Jordan. Um, others might argue for somebody else. Um, but the, the reality is we measure greatness by um, those that are the best at what they do, or we measure greatness by position and prominence. And perhaps that is what the um, the disciples were arguing about, I mean, like who is going to be more prominent in the kingdom, meaning this earthly kingdom that Jesus is going to set up. This is what they're thinking anyway. Um, who's going to sit at his left and his right? I mean, we find that in the other accounts, but uh, who's going to be the greatest? And Jesus's response to that was, um, listen, you guys got it all wrong. If anyone would be first, you want to be the greatest, then, uh, then be last. <laughs> be a servant to all. And, and it's a reminder to me that God thinks differently about these things. In the kingdom, greatness is about being humble and serving others. Um, so in our human world, I mean, get this, in our human world, it is the lesser who actually serve the greater. And yet in the kingdom of God, you find if you want to be great, it's the greater who actually serve the lesser. You want to be great in the kingdom of God, then be a servant to all. And, and I, want to, I want to unpack this, this idea of um, if you want to be great in the kingdom. And I want to hone in on two different things. One is a mindset. Uh, the second is actually action, right? Do something about it. Don't just... Uh, don't just have this mindset, actually do something about it. And the first thing is uh, the mindset. Be humble and don't consider yourself more highly than you ought. Uh, this is probably something that we all struggle with. We consider ourselves more, uh, or more highly than we ought to consider ourselves. We have a tendency to focus on ourselves, right? Um, but be humble and don't consider yourself more highly than you ought. I mean, Jesus embodied this, right? In Philippians chapter 2, as Paul's talking about Jesus and the incarnation, um, he says that, that Jesus, though being uh, equal with God, right? Though, though being God himself, right? Did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. He didn't, even though he was equal, he didn't consider it something to be grasped, but he made himself nothing became and, and took on the very nature of a servant. I mean, this is the embodiment of humility. He humbled himself um, and became a man. This, this mindset has to be a part of 
the follower of Jesus, especially, I mean, if we're going to be conformed to the image of Jesus, humility is just part of it, right? We don't consider ourselves better than anyone else. Matter of fact, we, we don't consider ourselves more highly than we are. We keep things in per, perspective. Um, so be humble. Um, and then the, the second thing is more on the lines of do something about it, right? So not, no, don't just be humble and have this humility about you, um, but serve others. Serve others. Uh, pay attention to the needs of others and consider how you might help them. Um, and this is, this is really what greatness is all about in the kingdom of God is understanding who you are, that uh, you're, you're humble. You're not any better than the next person. We're not trying to pursue greatness in, in and of ourselves, like position our, ourselves to be the best at whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's about being the best at serving, right? Um, looking for those needs and trying to help um, folks out um and and not because we out of pity or you know like like we're better we're we're so much better than somebody that we have to serve them i mean it's no it's 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 just this idea of man um i i want to be focused on other people and whatever their needs were i great example of this is when my first year ever going to the philippines um, uh, I met a guy, his name was, uh, his first name was Nelson and, um, uh, man, it, it didn't matter when I was there at the, at the church, this guy would just in, in such humility and graciousness be there to serve. If, if I needed anything, he would go and, um, he would get it. And I, and I wasn't even asking, I mean, he was, he was just there to serve, whether it was uh, eating a meal or whether um, I was there um, just having conversation or whatever. He, he was such a humble guy, and he just loved to serve people. And it wasn't just me. Um, he served anybody. I mean, this, this, this guy was uh, an incredible example of somebody that didn't think of himself, but really pursued the needs of others. Um, and uh, I, I would just challenge you to think about what it means to be a servant. Be humble and serve others, because that is what greatness is, my friend, in the kingdom of God. Father, I think of the example of Jesus. I think of the fact that he came to this earth. He humbled himself, became a man. He didn't consider equality with, uh, with, with you something to be grasped, but he made himself nothing, took on the very nature of a servant. And why? To serve humanity, to give his life as a ransom for many, to be obedient to death, even death on a cross. God, help us, help me, help me to be that kind of servant. Help me to be humble. Help me not to consider uh, myself too highly, um, but actually consider the needs of others. Help me to serve other people in the name of Jesus. And I pray that for all my friends out here. In Jesus' name, amen.